Hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a pretty quick video actually. I wanted to do a video because I got a new tripod so I wanted to try it out so it's working very well obviously. So if you want to check it out, I have an unboxing on my other channel. I can link to it in the description if you want to check that out. But otherwise, uh, let's go ahead and get into it. I wanted to do a video showing how to enable uh, the PC keyboard on any phone running Jelly Bean or with the Jelly Bean keyboard. So it's an, it's actually a pretty cool feature that you can enable within the settings. So first of all, just go ahead and go down and go into settings. Uh, whether you're on Jelly Bean or Ice Cream Sandwich using the Jelly Bean keyboard found in the Play Store, I do have a video showing you how to get the Jelly Bean keyboard. I will link to that as well in the description, but you need to go to language and input or whatever uh, it says, uh, whatever, uh, obviously if you're running touch with or sense, it could be a little bit different. Anyways, once you go into language and input, go ahead and you'll see Android keyboard or whatever the Jelly Bean keyboard is. Just go ahead and go into settings. And once you go into settings, scroll down, go to advanced settings. And uh, I actually found this out by playing around with it. I went into advanced settings to actually turn off next word prediction because that's not something that I use myself. Uh, and then I went ahead and played with some more. So what you can do is actually go to custom input styles. And when you do that, hit add style down at the bottom. And when you hit add style, go ahead and language, choose language, English, US. And then go ahead and under layout, hit PC. So go ahead and hit PC as your layout and then hit add. And once you hit add, you will see English US PC show up there. Mine was already there, but uh, you will see it show up um, as you can see there. So once that's there, English US PC, you go ahead and hit go back. And now what we need to do to actually switch is go ahead and hit the back arrow once more. And once you hit the back arrow, uh, what we can do is actually up at the top here, you will see input languages. Go ahead and select that. And then uncheck use system language. You don't want that. And you will see uh, active input methods you can check English US PC and uncheck English US. So you'll see English US PC. And once that's only checked, you're ready to go. So now when you go to uh, type a message or anything, let's say I wanted to compose an email. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit new. And here we go. So there it is. Check that keyboard out. Isn't that crazy? So it is actually really interesting because it's so much, all the buttons are so much smaller and uh, there's just so many more buttons. So you'll see, obviously you have a dedicated number row right there. Uh, you have more symbols on the right side. Uh, it's, it's very difficult to get used to. So it's not something uh, for someone with big fingers, I guess, because it's so small and hard to get used to. So if I wanted to try and type something, if I wanted to try and type an email, let's go ahead and turn that back on and say, hey there, how are you doing? And then obviously it looks like there's not even a question mark on here. That's kind of upsetting. So um, you'll see I messed up a lot. Well, not a lot, but you'll see at the end there I did mess up. So it, it does take a while to get used to. I haven't really used it myself. That's why I got some mess ups there. But I mean, if you have smaller fingers, I mean, Jelly Bean does a good job. Uh, the Jelly Bean keyboard does a good job at replacing the right word. Um, I have a meeting tomorrow at 4.50. So you'll see, um, you'll see I messed up tomorrow, but uh, it's nice having that number key because obviously you can um, just add numbers right on the fly without having to switch to symbols. So that's just a little cool feature of Jelly Bean. Uh, actually, I believe it's the keyboard set by default on the Nexus 7. So I guess I was wrong. It's actually not set by default on the Nexus 7. So if you do have a Nexus 7, that's definitely something you might want to consider. Um, especially, obviously, at having such a bigger screen. I can go ahead and go back into settings. And let's actually change it right here on the fly on my Nexus 7 because I want to obviously show you guys it in action on this device. So I go to Android keyboard and I go to advanced settings and I go to custom input styles and add style. There we go, English US and PC and hit add. So you'll see it gets added and I will hit enable. And there we go, so I'll uncheck that. Only check US PC and once I go back to Gmail and I hit new. And there we go, so there it is. So now I have the full PC keyboard on my Nexus 7. So that's uh, obviously a lot more useful. It's not as small. It's a lot easier to say, hey there, what's going on? Obviously it's still gonna take a little while to get used to, but again, with the bigger screen, obviously you can do it in landscape mode as well. Um, 
You got a full PC keyboard right there. Awesome. So again, that's not something that you, it's obviously just for phones. It's something you can clearly use on tablets as well. So again, it uh, works in landscape. So it's actually much better in landscape because obviously you have more screen real estate to work with and obviously you have all these different symbols and such. So just a little cool tip from Jelly Bean and the Jelly Bean keyboard, you can actually uh, switch your keyboard to PC keyboard as opposed to just that simple QWERTY. Obviously, you can go back into those language inputs and just put on system input and uh, it changes back. But there you have it. So you have to let me know what you think if this is something you'll use. Again, I recommend it to people with a Nexus 7. But there you have it. Let me know what you think. Be sure to leave a comment. Subscribe as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.